Tetsuya Endo begins exploring Yor's insecurities a bit more, and Lloyd might be getting a little too emotionally attached uh, to his mission. I discuss this and more on today's episode. to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out of the ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Uh, Today I want to talk about some more manga that I read. I am on that manga grind. Uh, And as I mentioned, it's about uh, secret spies and uh, families and those sorts of things. I am referring to Spy Family Volume 5 by Tetsuya Endo, which was published around 2019 or 2020. I've talked about Tetsuya Endo on this channel before, so I don't need to go into that great of detail. Uh, But Endo is a um, Japanese uh, writer, primarily writing manga. Uh, and he he's mostly known for the Spy Family series, but he has written a number of other series as well. And he's very secretive and private about his um, his, his sort of image. He doesn't really want it to get out there, which is which is fair in this in this age of uh, celebrity worship and uh, celebrity stalking. Uh, but yeah, I've I've been enjoying the series, although I have wanted it to be a bit more like a bit more um, what is it uh, like focus more on the, on the overall story uh, rather than sort of zany one-offs, which it seems to be what Endo is doing. But I, I, I recognize that's probably more about what I expect the series to be rather than what it is. Uh, and it's 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 fine um, on its own, but again, I guess I wanted a little bit more. But I'm, I enjoyed this uh, particular volume um, quite a bit. Uh, and so without further ado, let's discuss Volume 5 of Spy Family. I will do a summary, a little bit of analysis, and then we will move on from there. Volume 5 of Spy Family begins with uh, Yor reaching out to her brother as well as some friends uh, to learn how to cook. She, it seems that she's feeling uh, insecure about her role in the family and worried that Lloyd is going to divorce her for not being an uh, effective enough wife. Uh, so she learns how to cook. Uh, and it's, it's funny, there's a panel where uh, she's... Uh, like offering the food to her brother and he's like oh yeah it tastes great but he's also kind of barfing uh, so uh, clearly she has some work to do there uh, but uh, Anya and Lloyd seem to be fans of this small stuff that she makes although if she tries anything large and elaborate uh, it, it's not as uh, not as tasty um, and then the story focuses on Anya in school. Um, she's working with Damien uh, on a um, on an art project. Uh, L- Lloyd wants Anya to get close to Damien, and Anya is trying her best there. Uh, she's um, she works with Damien on the art project, and it ends up uh, winning some notoriety. Uh, so that's um, that's pretty good for both of them because it also seems like Damien is seeking his dad's approval. Uh, although he's not really paying too much attention to uh, to Damien. Uh, and meanwhile, a- Anya has to prepare for midterm. She's not too great at studying again because she's, she's like five or six years old. So um, I think everyone's kind of expecting too much out of this, this young child. But uh, Lloyd tries to help her study. Uh, and even Yuri comes over, Anya, or uh, um, Yor's brother. Uh, Yuri doesn't seem to like Anya because... Uh, she's, um, they're, they're both kind of competing for Yor's attention, and Yuri has this, this weird, like, fixation on, on his sister that is almost romantic in nature, which, again, is, is, is pretty weird. Uh, but Yuri, too, uh, decides to tutor, Yor, uh, uh, Anya, and, um, seems to do a, an okay job. Uh, and then, um, Lloyd encourages her a bit more before she studies for the, um, before the midterms come up. However, he doesn't feel confident in what she's done, so Lloyd, uh, ends up sneaking into the school to try to change her answers. And he runs into another agent at the same time, uh, Agent Daybreak, which is funny because, um, Lloyd's agent name is, is Twilight. Uh, Daybreak, uh, has been tasked with, a um, changing some answers for the Desmonds. Uh, but he's also kind of very loud and brash, and Lloyd is worried that he's going to draw attention. Uh, Daybreak eventually leaves, and Lloyd sees that he's actually made Desmond's answers incorrect, Damien's answers. Uh, and so he works to just change it back to what they were. Uh, and um, 
there's a question of like who uh, who paid Daybreak to do that. It's eventually revealed that George Gluman, uh, a child at the school with uh, with Damien, has a vendetta against Damien because there's a rumor going around that uh, Damien's father is going to buy out uh, George's father's company and make the family destitute or something like that. Uh, he ends up calling out Damien and, and announcing to everyone what Damien's father is doing, and everyone feels sad because it seems like George might have to leave the school if the family can't pay for it. Uh, eventually, eventually, like Anya and a bunch of other students give George uh, some stuff because um, they feel sorry for him. Uh, but when he gets home, it's revealed that the uh, that Damien's father actually saved his company. Uh, it's just that George won't have as much power anymore. And then he shows up the next day and everyone's like, you're not actually leaving. Give us back our stuff, uh, which is a bit funny there. Uh, and then another project that Anya is working on is that she has to shadow one of her parents um, for their job. She thinks about doing her mother, uh, Yor, but she's worried that Yor might take her on an assassination mission that she has. So she just decides to shadow Lloyd's uh, cover job as a psycho, uh, as a, psych a psychiatrist at a hospital. Uh, it's, it's really interesting to her, um, but she can also read his mind, so she's accidentally writing um, stuff about his job, his real job down too. And then she sneaks through the hospital while, her, while Lloyd isn't looking and overhears um, some other hospital-related goings-on that it, that's kind of funny, too. Uh, and then Anya ends up writing about it, but uh, she mixes up some of the stuff from the psychiatrist in the agent field, but it's not enough to blow uh, Lloyd's cover. Uh, and as the story comes to a close, we're introduced to Fiona Frost, who's assigned to working with Lloyd on, a, on an upcoming mission. However, it's clear that Fiona likes Lloyd and wants to replace Yor, uh, just noting that she's not very good at helping with Lloyd's cover. Uh, and um, she tries to interfere by coming to the house and trying to make herself look good at the expense of Yor, and that makes Yor insecure. But it also it's clear that Lloyd likes Yor, and Fiona just notes that there uh, that Lloyd might have infused some of his own emotion in the job, and he might actually care about Anya and Yor now. And again, as the story comes to a close, uh, I, I, like F Lloyd walks Fiona back to the train back to the train station, uh, and she says that he better be prepared for their upcoming job, and that she also hints that she uh, likes him. So it kind of ends on that um, cliffhanger there. In terms of analysis, there is a fair bit to talk about with Volume Five here. Uh, I, I really like the introduction, uh, in, introduction sorry, of, of Fiona Frost. Uh, pretty interesting uh, character. You're certainly going to throw a wrench in between Yor and Lloyd, which I, I like. It's going to force Lloyd to sort of confront the emotions that he might be feeling for Yor. Um, and talking more about Yor, Yor's insecurities, what's she going to do about that? Finally, there's some there's something meaty and, and of substance to, to latch onto uh, with this series. And so like one of the themes that uh, Endo is talking about here is that of proving yourself. Uh, the characters in this volume are determined to do right by others, to prove themselves in the eyes of, of others. We see this especially with Yuri, uh, because uh, in previous volumes, we've seen that he's very attached to his sister in a sometimes weird, incestuous kind of way. And how he's depicted, it's, it's very clear that he's overly in love with his own sister. Uh, but a lot of this has to do with Yuri wanting to pay back his sister for basically raising him and keeping the family together when she was when she was younger. Uh, it's um, it, he he just wants to do the bare minimum to make sure that that Yor feels appreciated, which is very lovely. Allow me to read you another quote from this. When I was young, I hated myself for how useless I was. I wanted to be able to help my sister, and I studied really hard so I could. I felt like I grew an inch taller each time I got a question right. I loved that feeling. And there you see the heart of, of, of Yuri wanting to prove that, that he's smart for his sister. He even says like knowledge is, is power. Uh, and he says he grew, feels like he grew an inch taller. Sort of a great feeling of, of being, being right, of, of proving yourself, and, and academically speaking. Uh, and, and all of that kind of relating back to uh, 
Tior. Damien has the uh, same sort of a uh, mindset. He's trying to prove himself to his father who doesn't really notice him. Uh, and so he's hoping that getting good grades and getting stars in school, getting noticed by the uh, upper echelon will, will bring some attention from his dad. It's not really helping right now, but um, uh, hopefully that happens for him in the, in the future. And the same thing is really happening to Anya. She wants to prove herself to, to Lloyd and Yor. Um, so she's mainly so she doesn't get sent back to the uh, to the um, orphanage that she's from, uh, and so that that means helping her father any way any way possible. Um, th there's also a sense of love there, and then we see yours insecurities um, uh, as well in this. She's worried that she's not a good mother to uh, Lloyd and or to your or to Anya, sorry, and then like to Lloyd, she might not be the best wife. Uh, so, um, a, bit, a bit of insecurity, and so she strives to become a better cook in order to help the, the family out there. Uh, and she, I'd say she, um, because she's dedicated, she's able to succeed somewhat. Uh, but underlying it is is that the sort of fears that Yor might be kicked out of her home. The fear that uh, she might be discovered as an assassin by the state and, and, and killed or jailed for that. Uh, so we, we, we see more about what Yor wants, what Yuri wants, what Anya wants, what Damien want, uh, and how they might be achieving some of that, but they probably aren't. And maybe the ultimate message that Endo is wanting to say is, well, he's trying to show us the heart of the characters, but maybe also that uh, um, sort of validation can only really come from within or something like that. And that, that's something that these characters are going to have to learn over the course of this series. Even though uh, um, uh, Endo only p touched on it a bit, I did like the exploration of Lloyd and Fiona. It's meant to be conflict for Yor to deal with, again, focusing on those insecurities. That someone else can just swoop in and take Lloyd away and that she's put on the back burner or divorced or something like that. Uh, someone who might be seen as more competent than her. Uh, especially because uh, Yor never really had that uh, sort of role model growing up because her, her family died when she was pretty young. Uh, but what's interesting, especially about this, not only does it talk about the insecurities, but it highlights how Fiona is noting that Lloyd might be becoming too attached to his mission, too emotional, that he might actually love Anya and Yor in some capacity, uh, that he actually cares for their well-being and wants the best for them which is very beautiful um uh but also if if lloyd is getting attached then that's a risk and a vulnerability down the road uh so a lot of more a lot more things to consider uh what's he is is he gonna have to like go out of his way to kind of sever that connection uh, is he gonna become harsher is he going to uh, fully commit to this this love? Is it going to be something that exists out, outside of the mission once he finishes it? These are a lot of interesting questions that I think are going to be fun to pursue going forward. Uh, but also the, there's an idea of like you become what you pretend to be. So like Lloyd is pretending to be a father and a, and a husband and that is what he's becoming. Uh, you can, it's the idea is like fake it till you make it. Uh, but uh, Lloyd isn't really trying to make anything but he's, he's faking it so hard that this is just becoming his identity and you can't really escape those emotional attachments there. The last thing I'll note about volume five here is the great humor of it. Endo's doing a really good job throughout the entire series of infusing humor in the uh, in the overall um, series uh, but I, I particularly like the humor in this volume uh, uh, especially as I mentioned before Yuri's reaction to yours food how he's trying to impress his sister and and make her seem like she's a really great person so he just eats her food even though it's kind of making him vomit a little bit and then uh, when Anya is at the hospital she sneaks through some vents and passageways uh, and accidentally overhears like paranormal researchers talking about ghosts and whatnot, and she's making noise in the vents. So they they think, oh, there's a ghost. There's a ghost of dead children in, in this hospital, and they're they're all panicking and trying to to verify it so that maybe they can just prove the paranormal exists. Uh, but Anya's reaction to all of that is pretty funny. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Volume 5 of Spy Family. It's a it's a fun series. Um, I think this is a good addition, uh, very fun to read. And so, yeah, I, I 
definitely recommend it. I, you know, don't start with Volume 5, but the Spy Family series is a lot of fun and worth pursuing. So definitely go check it out if you can, either buy the book or maybe find it at your local library. My library has mangas, um, so perhaps yours might. It depends on the size of your library, of course, but um, who knows where, where it might be. Uh, it's, it's worth uh, checking out there. If you have any thoughts about what I said here, anything to say about the review, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that more people can find out about uh, this series or this author if they don't already know. And other than that, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and spy-based travels. Farewell.